السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Hello everyone Welcome to this Arduino programming tutorial In this video I'm going to explain how you can use Arduino as a calculator So in previous uh, video I already explained the basic of Arduino And now I will start with how you can use Arduino as a calculator Okay So what will be the learning outcome? Uh, first of all, you will be introduced to the arithmetic operators and then we will solve some activity using Tinkercad. Dealing with variables is one of the important tools in Arduino programming. So, what is the use of variables? Variables in programming coding is used to carry information. So, you can think of variable like a box. Okay? This box can hold information for you, okay? So inside this box can change, but you cannot change the box itself, okay? You can change the name, you can change the content or the data inside it, but you cannot change what is the variable itself. So let's start with this box, okay? Or how we can uh, declare and initialize the first line in our code, okay? So this box is called my int box. So this is the name of the box. So this is the name of the variable. This is the variable name, okay? And what is the data type? We have to know our data. So we can decide what is the data type. In this case, number four is integer, right? So integer, like one, two, zero, three hundred, two hundred. So it's integer. And what is the variable name is my int. So this, the variable name can be changed. You can write x or you can write my int or you can write mom name, for example. You know, you, know, you can write anything. But for your convenience, it's better to write something related to your code so you will not forget it next time okay so here the name of this variable is my end and then to initialize it I will click on I will write equal and then I will write the data so what is the data here is for so what will be the code line here it will be end the data type the variable name equal the information here okay which is for the same here so the data type of this box so this box can hold only fractions you cannot put integer here this box is designed to hold only fractions so to define it or to declare here to declare the, the line code here it will be 2.5 is a fraction it cannot be end it will be a fraction right if it's a fraction we have to write float and then the variable name here is my float and then equal to the data here so how it will look like float my float which is the variable name equal the data or the information that you have okay or the information that you want to put in this uh, fraction what initialization you want to put here okay finally this is a character so it's not a number okay so how to define this one or how to declare this one if it is a character, it is Z or A or B or whatever, any character, you have to declare it with C-H-A-R, okay? The shortcut for character. So, and then you have, so this, this is the shortcut here. And then you have to write the box name, my car, uh, shortcut for characters, and then equal, and then you put here the data. So what you have to know is you cannot mix, you cannot put four in this float line or you cannot put four in here in this character because each variable is designed to hold specific information. Integer only you have to write integer. So you can't change this number. If it's if you want to change the number, yes, you can't, you can't put five here or you can't put six, you can't put 100, but you cannot put 2.5 here why because this line or this variable can hold only integers and this variable float can hold only fractions and finally this 
can hold only characters okay finally if it's a boolean data you have to define the data type as a b double o l okay and then the same write down the, the variable name or the box name and the data here you have only two type of data whether it's true or false no other data so now let me introduce you to the arithmetic operators what is arithmetic operators arithmetic operators are the operators that perform a mathematical operation so this is the equal sign addition sign subtraction sign and this is the multiplication sign the, this is this sign is applied for the division and finally this uh, one uh, the percentage sign is for module okay so now let's move to the uh, compound operators the command operators are the operators that perform an operation on the two operands before assigning the result to the first operand so a plus plus means that a plus one okay so double plus means that a will be incremented one each time what about the uh, subtract again uh, this means that a will be uh, decremented by one each time so what if the number uh, what if we want to increment or decrement not by one what if we want to increment by 15 or 17 or 18 or 5 or 6 or 7 any number but one so in this case we have to call this uh, value a b okay so let's say it's b so instead of writing a so if i want for example decrement a each time by b okay so in this case i will write this syntax it's a minus equal b what does that mean so a minus equal b means that a equal a minus b so how can you understand this syntax very easy an easy way so simply check what is the first variable here is a right so a is equal so let's move this equal from here to there to here so it will be a equal a minus b that's it so a equal to a minus b is actually a minus equal b okay again what about here instead of the same concept the same concept just move the equal from here to there and a is equal to a plus b the same here a is equal to a divided by b and finally here a is equal to a multiplied by b that's it so now let's move to Tinkercad and apply our knowledge. We will do this small operation here, five multiplied by three, and let's see how the Arduino can calculate it. So as we know, there are two main functions in the Arduino, void setup and void loop. Uh, so let's do this simple operation here. Let's do a code where the arduino can act like a calculator okay so as you can see here there are two numbers and the third one will be the result so it can be clear here that i have to identify three variables one for number five one for number three and the last one for the result okay so let's start by knowing our numbers or our data so five and three here are both integers so i will write int let's start with number five so i have to give a name for this variable or for this box remember when we uh, when i told you you have to remember the variables as a box okay so let's give a name for this box okay so let's say num one and let's initialize it since we know the the the, the data so let's say equal 5 and then don't forget the semicolon same here and num 2 is for number 3 right so 3 and then don't forget the semicolon okay 
now we have to declare the third one the third variable which will be the result okay so the result here 5 multiplied by 3 the result should be also integer so int int let's call it a result do we know the results we cannot write the number because we want the calculator or we want the arduino to act like a like a calculator and give us the answer so let's leave it as it is okay now to start the uh, so now we have finished to declare the variables and initialize the two numbers that we know five multiplied by three okay so to start the communication the serial communication we have to uh, write serial dot begin 9600 i already explained this in the previous video now we want to do the mathematic um, uh, operation okay the calculator so i have to write a function where the result is equal to what okay so if I, first of all if i want the results to be to 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 run only one time i have to write it in setup if i want it in a loop it will be here so in this case i just wanted to represent only one time so i will write the code in the setup function okay so result is equal to what is equal to 5 multiplied by 3 but we already declared them in num1 and num2 we give variables so num1 multiplied by num2 so in this case what is num1 num1 is equal to 5 and what is num2 num2 is equal to 3 okay so the result here is actually 5 multiplied by 3 but we write it in a variable why it is easy for us if we change the number here it will be easier for us not to change the code here each time okay so now we want this result to be passed to the screen here so to do so i have to use serial dot print and then i want the result to be here so i will just write result so the result here is the variable which is here I'll just pass it to the serial print to be represented here okay and then semicolon okay start the simulation so it should be 15 and exactly it is 15 okay and that's it